I want my kids to grow up and have everything they want. I want them to have, you know, go to a good school, make sure they have everything. I don't want them to be the kids in there walking around with clothes that are all tore up and, you know, they're not clean because we don't have anything. I just want everything to be better than what it is. The working class definitely feel that nothing is working for them. A disposable population. Trump symbolizes the arrival of a politician who is not going to ignore them. A lot of what America is, is small towns, small communities. And for so long, that is what made America. Everybody was tied to the land. Everybody was proud of where they were from. And I think we're seeing a polarization of rural areas and the city areas that is, the gulf is just getting wider and wider. We have a lot of abandoned houses in Harrisburg that are falling down. There's not a lot of good paying jobs around here anymore. We've lost so much economically, uh, population-wise. I, I can't see it getting any worse than it, than it already is. I don't like to think Harrisburg has no bright stars in its uh, sky. A small town. Why would we matter? I've been all around this world. I've been all around this world. Well, you know, unless a kid plans to go to college and, and move away, if he's going to stay around here, uh, working in a coal mine has in the past always been the, the better the options. When I cast my vote, I was still kind of unsure. I just hoped that I made the best choice for my family. Uh, they kind of saw Trump as an outsider, not really a Republican either. And so they jumped on the bandwagon pretty quick. I think Trump really does care. I feel like he gave us the most hope. I mean, it takes a lot for somebody that's been in one party their entire life to switch. And uh, your livelihood is, is what will do it. I'm a Democrat. I have been my whole life. Didn't vote Democrat this time. I wouldn't have voted for Hillary Clinton if she was the last one on earth to vote for. The second she opened her mouth and she said she was shutting every coal mines down, she was done. She was done. When I worked at the coal mines, I mean, I made over $4,000 a month. I could pay my car payment. I owned my house. I can't support my family working at McDonald's. I mean, I got four kids. We haven't paid anything on this apartment because I don't have the money. No food, no formula. I mean, I don't have anything anymore. I want to work. I want to support my family. I've never voted until I voted for Trump. Yeah, I realized that when he was up there talking about uh, getting everybody their jobs back. And I mean, that was my main thing is job. I need a job. I want to get back in the mines. You know, he's going to give me my job back. In a way, you can say that democracy has been extraordinarily effective in the sense that it actually forced all of us to pay attention to this population that we had kind of been ignoring before. A lot of times people around here don't think like we don't matter or whatever. We did matter and we proved it. We have watched this community get smaller and smaller and smaller for so long that it, it really is nice to finally see something where you feel a little hope in your, in your town.